Okay, so we start by going to File, Imports, and we're going to import a GLB file. So you select your file from the directory, and then select Import. The mesh becomes very small, so we can press Home to frame it. And then now we want to cut away the base, but first, because this mesh, the way it's 3D scanned, it's into hundreds of little pieces. So what we want to do is go into edit mode. So we select the mesh, press tab, and it should select all the vertices. If it doesn't, then you just press A to select all the vertices, and then press M for merge and by distance. And then it will tell you it's removed about 2,500 vertices. And you come back out of edit mode. And now you can see that it's one whole mesh. Now to cut away the base, we go into edit mode. We select all the vertices. And then we go into the front view. And we can use either mesh, bisect, and then we drag a line across. I've already got this set to clear inner, but you should probably see something like this after you drag the line. So you just go into this little menu, bisect, and you just select clear inner. Depending how you drag the line, I did it from left to right. If you did it from right to left, then you might have to select clear outer. Okay, for me, it's clear inner. And then I could fine tune by dragging this arrow. And remember, you can hold shift to even make the adjustments more fine. Once you're satisfied, you won't be able to cut all of it without cutting too much of the puppy. So this is good enough. Once you're happy with that, just left click in open space to confirm. And now you could either go like this to delete it, the loose vertices, or you can select your puppy, any vertex, control L to link all, which will select the whole puppy, and then control I for inverse select. So anything that's not your main mesh. That will make sure you collect all the loose ones without going individually to selecting them. Once you've selected all the loose ones, press X for delete, and you delete the vertices. Press tab to go out of edit mode, back into object mode. And then now you can see that the puppy is done. There's another way of doing it. So let me go all the way back out. Another way of doing it is by using a Boolean modifier. For this, we go into object mode and we select Shift A to add a mesh and then a cube. This cube is too big, so let's press S for scale and make it smaller. Then with the cube selected, you can press G, which is grab, and then you move it along the Z axis. Z axis, and you pull it down. And basically you want to use this cube to cut the base of the puppy. So you, after that, you select your puppy, you go into this little wrench, which is modifier properties. And you add a modifier called Boolean. And make sure it's on differences. So now what you're telling Blender to do is to apply a modifier onto the puppy by cutting it with another object. So over here, there's object. And you can select which object you want to cut with. So I'm going to select the cube. So I'll use the dropper tool, 
select the cube and you can see that the puppy the base has disappeared you can use, move this cube to adjust what you want to cut it gets a bit laggy because it's cutting in real time so let's say I want to go to here but you can see that some of the table is still left so you select the cube and you can rotate it I'm going to rotate it by the x-axis so this is the x-axis I'm going to rotate the cube by the x-axis and I'm going to hold shift so I can finally adjust how much to rotate maybe somewhere there if I really want to get rid of this, I can use the inverse method after I cut, or I can just move this cutting cube slightly higher on the z-axis. Something like that is good enough. And then you select the puppy again, and you click this little drop-down arrow, and you click Apply. Once you've applied it, you no longer need this cube because you've already used it. So you can just delete the cube. And there, you will have the puppy. And the base is filled in because you've used the cube to cut it. So this is actually what's left of the cube. So that's two ways of importing your mesh, your 3D scanned mesh, into Blender. And using either the bisect method or the Boolean method to cut away the base.